This demonstration will show you how to create the spider web op art piece. The first thing you will do is put a dot somewhere on your piece of paper. It does not have to be directly in the center. It can be off center slightly. It just should not be very, very close to the edge of the paper. Once you've put your dot on the paper, you need to get a ruler and you are going to draw five lines from one side of the paper all the way to the other that go directly through the dot that you drew. So I'm going to line my ruler up with the dot. I'm starting on one side of the paper and I'm drawing all the way to the other side. That was one line. I'm going to move my ruler slightly. Two. three, four, and five. Once you have drawn your five lines, that should separate your paper into ten sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you're going to start in one of the sections and you're going to make curve lines that curve out towards the edge of the paper, repeating after one another. On the next section, you're going to make curve lines that curve in towards the center. You do not want the edge of the curved outline to connect to the next one. So I'm going to go up a little bit and now I'm going to curve into the center. And now I'm going to alternate. So now I'm curving up or out towards the edge and then in towards the middle, out towards the edge, in towards the middle, out, in, out, and in. Now you are done drawing your design. The next step will be to add color. I have color started on one of them. You are choosing two pairs of colors. It helps if they are similar so I've chosen a light purple and a dark purple, and I've chosen orange and yellow. So I've already done my light purple and dark purple, so I'm going to set those aside, and I'm going to begin my next section with my orange and yellow. The difference in pressure is what's going to make the illusion work. So towards the edge of each shape, I want my color to be dark, so I'm going to apply with a harder pressure. As I get in towards the middle of the shape, I'm going to press lighter with my hand, which will make the color appear lighter on the paper. So it's gradually going to go from dark to light. I'm going to do the orange, and then in the next section, the yellow. Again, I'm pressing hard or firmly towards the edge. I'm pressing down with less pressure as I get towards the middle. Same thing on this side. You might have to go back in after you look at the artwork and realize, oh, I need to press a little harder here to make it gradually go from dark to light. I'm going back to my orange. And then on the next one, I will again go back to the yellow. Once I am done with this section, I would do yellow, orange. Now I go back to the purples, light purple, dark purple, light purple, dark purple, all the way up, and then back to my orange and yellow. I repeat that all the way around until I get back to the beginning. It will give the illusion of the spider web coming up and down and up and down throughout the artwork.